Hello, my name is Meg Pletcher, and I've worked in senior living for 24 years. People often ask me, isn't senior living the same as a nursing home? It's a great question, and the short answer is no. A long time ago, when you talked to someone about assisted living or independent living, the immediate reaction was, isn't that a nursing home? Because nursing homes got a bad rap. Nursing homes have been around for a very long time, but senior living, which is assisted living, independent living, memory care, has truly only been around since about the 1980s. Prior to that, nursing homes existed across our country, and they serve a very important purpose, but they didn't always have the best reputation. Now, today, nursing homes meet a lot of great needs. They are federally regulated, and there are many, many that do a fantastic job, but there are other options. So let's take a look at those. First up is independent living. Independent living is perfect for active, healthy seniors who are ready to downsize and let someone else take care of life's day-to-day -day tasks. These retirement communities typically offer a private apartment with meals, housekeeping services, and social activities included. Although independent living doesn't offer personal care services or employ caregivers and staff, residents are welcome to hire their own third-party personal care providers. Next is assisted living. Assisted living is similar to independent living, but it also includes that personal care service. That is done by on-site staff and it's usually at an additional cost. These services are meant to help residents with activities of daily living or ADLs. Those are things like bathing, getting dressed, walking to and from meals, remembering to take medications properly. So the key to that is the activities of daily living. When people need more care, that's when we start looking at medical care provided by a nursing home. Assisted living residents live in a private or shared apartment and receive care services based on a plan customized to their needs. Many assisted living communities provide on-site dining, housekeeping services, inviting common spaces, and social activities and outings. Another option is memory care communities, which are for people who are living with Alzheimer's disease or other forms of dementia, and they may need 24-7 support. Memory care options offer highly specialized care in a secure environment designed to keep residents safe, socially connected, and engaged. Many assisted living communities offer separate memory care areas where residents live in a private or shared apartment. Other communities offer memory care only. Another option is private care homes. These are very similar to assisted living communities, but they're traditionally private homes that have been adapted to provide support services for a smaller group of residents. It's usually 15 or less, and they offer both short and long-term care. And then there's skilled nursing. In addition to the personal care services offered by assisted living, Skilled nursing communities deliver around-the-clock medical care to residents with chronic health conditions. Nurses are available there 24-7. Finally, we have CCRCs, or Continuing Care Retirement Communities. As the name suggests, CCRCs provide a continuum of care over the lifetime of a resident, including medical services. Residents move to CCRCs knowing they won't need to relocate if their care needs change. That's because these communities offer independent living, assisted living, sometimes memory care, and skilled nursing. They often require a large entrance fee and there is a monthly rental fee as well. One more word about options, there are plenty. In the world of senior living, you'll find high-end luxury communities, approachable, budget-friendly options, and everything in between. The key is to comparison shop before choosing the senior living community that meets your needs and works with your bottom line. I wish you the best with your search. Thanks for watching.